It's a Thursday. It's December 15th, 2022. Welcome to the Day Weather Podcast brought to you by Cowboy State Daily. They have more original Wyoming news information than anybody else. Check them out at CowboyStateDaily.com and also brought to you by YDOT. When there's ice and snow, take it slow. Before venturing out, call 511 or go to YORoad.info to check road conditions and find out what roads are open, what roads are closed. Still have lots of closures as of early this morning. Burr. Only way to really describe the weather here across the West as we roll through the rest of the week and the weekend. There's really no relief from the cold. We're still going to be suffering with the wind. That big storm system is just still too close to us. So we're still in its counterclockwise spin. We're going to have blowing snow, very cold temperatures, very cold wind chill values. And occasional snow showers and flurries will continue up into the mountains. Few will reach the plains. Nothing significant. It's just going to be winter out there. This really reminds me of a January, February type pattern that has settled on in. And we're going to see still some winds, but they're not going to be as strong through the weekend. Expect temperatures though through the weekend to remain very cold, especially in the areas that picked up the more widespread snow amounts where that snows deeper and will have an impact on temperature. A very active pattern across the entire nation is going to be developing next week and it's going to continue through Christmas weekend. For those of you with travel plans, as we get into next week and through that Christmas weekend, there could be a lot of problems, whether it's an interstate uh, highway, whether it's an airport destination, as we just have a lot of winter that's going to go coast to coast and we'll show you that. Satellite photo shows this big storm system. Now it's going up into Wisconsin and you can just see how big it is from the Gulf going all the way up to South Central Canada. Then the counterclockwise spin is still coming on through. Now this storm is going to head into the upper Great Lakes, Great Lakes region, the Northeast causing ice storms, causing winter storm blizzard conditions up here. We're going to have some ice conditions here, then snow then up into New England, and then this cold air is pouring in on the back side of the storm system coming into the nation. And there you can see it still lumbering its way a week, a week ago. And really from the, if we go back all the way to Saturday, the storm was here. So it has taken a long, sweet time moving across the country because of those blocking high pressure systems that we've been talking about. Now by Sunday, the system lifts up towards, oh, just east of Lake Superior there and goes up into eastern and southeastern areas of Canada and a somewhat more moderate flow comes in, but it's still coming in from the northwest. And the amount of cold up here in these higher latitudes is extensive and it's deep. So that cold air will leak in. And these are the forecasted low temperatures for Monday morning. So you can see all those sub-zero temperatures across Canada. I'm sorry, Montana, North Dakota. I just have no good news for you. You're in the cold for the long haul. This Arctic air is gonna be just along the US-Canadian border. And then you see these negative temperatures right here in the valleys. Well, cold air trapped in the mountain valleys of Western Wyoming, Eastern Idaho, Western Colorado, can mean some really cold nights there. But that isn't the worst of the cold because it'll get a bigger push south. This is the five-day temperature anomaly. So for the next five days, Anywhere you see blue or green, temperatures are going to be below the 30-year average. And the core of the cold is right here in the western United States. But the cold is also spreading across the rest of the nation. Between now and Monday, there's a little more snow. But as you can see, not a lot. It'll be focused up here in the upper Midwest. But you get snow showers and flurries in this type of pattern. So winds aloft come in from the northwest. Nothing that's going to amount to very much. And that'll keep temperatures cold. I mentioned ice. There's going to be a major ice event as that same storm moves across the Great Lakes into parts of the Northeast. Look at all of this large scale possible freezing rain accumulation that'll be happening as we get into the Friday, Saturday time frame. And then on top of that ice and snow will be snow on top of the ice across parts of the Northeast. So you can see that if you're going to be traveling or anywhere basically north of this line here, a lot of weather problems through this upcoming weekend. We're not even in the next week yet. Going into next week, we're going to have a strong northwest flow come into the Rockies, pouring in that very cold Canadian air. And you can see this very tight gradient, a lot of black lines there. This is a very strong jet stream wind 
coming in across the Rockies that will be taking place towards the middle of next week. So it's just going to be cold with occasional flurries through probably Tuesday. But mid to late week, we see that cold air pouring in. So we've been showing you a graphic like this over the last few days. The minus 30 or more deviation in average temperatures just gets pushed in all that purple. So this is by Thursday morning. So by Thursday morning, many parts of the West could go below zero and stay below zero or near that zero mark for a couple of days. And then what's gonna happen is this cold Arctic air is just gonna act kind of like a snow plow and just go right across the nation. And you can see a day later, it goes all the way to the Gulf Coast. So you're talking possibly another big outbreak of cold into Texas, and then the cold heads into the Midwest, and then it heads east. Now this is by late next week. So what you've got is a volatile mix of Arctic air pouring into the country, warm air out ahead of it. You're gonna have snow coming in on the backside of this system into the Rockies. Then you're gonna have potentially an intense East Coast storm system by next Thursday and Friday that'll go up the Northeast seaboard. If you look at the number of large airports in this zone right here that will have winter storm conditions late next week and towards Christmas Eve and Christmas Day, and you can see why there's gonna be some big problems. Now, one area that's gonna have fair weather here will be California, but from the Pacific Northwest through this part of the nation here, late next week and Christmas weekend is gonna be cold and stormy. There's gonna be a lot of Arctic air still along the east slopes of the Rockies uh, during this time frame, so cold through Christmas week. So the prospects of a white Christmas look pretty good. This is the 10 day snowfall forecast for the North American region. Look at the snow potentially getting down here. Could that happen? Maybe, we'll see. But you can see how far south the white Christmas line could be going this year if you consider a white Christmas having snow on the ground. And that's gonna be a large part of the country by next Sunday. Have yourself a good Thursday. We'll see you tomorrow. Stay warm.